Welcome to Discovery Land and Quest. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Skylar. All right, guys, if you were to receive a care package filled with goodies, what would you want in that? I honestly would want some chocolate chip cookies. They sound very good, especially, good cr especially crumble cookies. Ooh. Would you have like chocolate milk in there with it? Yeah, that sounds really good. It does sound actually very yeah, good. Right? In today's story, we will discover numerous ways God demonstrates his care for his people. But before we start, let's pray. God, thank you for being a God who always has and always will love us. We invite you to lead us today with the power of your Holy Spirit as we learn about you. Help us to see your powerful arm in every detail of our lives and to fully understand the depth of your care for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, everyone, it's me, Louis Kablooey. Kablooey! And I've got another amazing Real life story from the Bible. All right, uh, let, me, let me set it up for you. Uh, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Boo! Until God used Moses to set them free. Yay! By sending a series of terrible plagues to the Egyptians and especially their king, Pharaoh. Boo! But through all 10 plagues, God protected all of the Israelites. Yay! They packed up quickly and they followed God's presence, which looked like a, a pillar of cloud during the day, following a pillar of cloud. 
And at night, it looked like a pillar of fire. Following a pillar of fire. Because God cared for his people, he warned Moses that the Egyptians weren't done with them. Boo. But God also reminded Moses that only God would have the glory and the Egyptians would know that he was the one true God. Yay! It, it wasn't long before Pharaoh noticed something. Someone bring me a royal sandwich. Hello? Um, yeah, that's the slave's job. And uh, you let them all go, remember? The Israelites had been doing most of the work all over Egypt. So Pharaoh changed his mind and he went after them with his army. And when he caught up to the Israelites, they were camped next to the Red Sea, which was this huge, giant, uncrossable body of water. We're trapped between a Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea. How is this better than being a slave? The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. God, what do we do? Raise your staff and reach your hand out across the Red Sea. God used Moses to part the Red Sea, and then the Israelites, you know, crossed it safely on dry ground. But then when Pharaoh's army, they tried to follow them, their chariot wheels got stuck. Then once the Israelites were whew, safe on the other side, stretch out your hand across the sea again. The waters flowed back over the Egyptians who were all stuck. The Israelites saw how God had protected them and they put their trust in him for a bit. The story's not over, cause, cause now they were in the desert, wandering around looking for the land that God had promised them. <laughs> Moses, it's been three days. We're hungry and we're thirsty, bro. God, please provide for us. And he did, he provided water. But then about a month later, the complaining started up again. At least when we were slaves, we had bread and meat. God was teaching them to rely on him and, and he was leading them to the land he promised. Every morning, he provided them with food that would just fall from the sky. It looked like frost as, as, as it covered the ground and the Israelites called it manna, which means, what is it? God wanted them to trust he would care for them every single day. So he only gave them enough for one day at a time. When they tried to you know, gather up more and save it, it would get, ooh, bugs. God even gave them a day of rest from gathering it. On the sixth day of each week, he provided double the manna and it would stay fresh for an extra day. No bugs. God was doing the important work of showing his people how much he cared for them. Because remember how they had been treated so terribly as slaves for like a long time? All throughout their hard journey in the wilderness, God cared deeply for his people. When they complained that they were thirsty, God provided water. When they complained they were hungry, God provided manna. And when they complained that they wanted meat, <clears throat> God gave them so many quail birds to eat that it came out of their noses. Even when the Israelites didn't trust God, he was always faithful and he showed them how much he cared. And today he's still faithful because God still cares for all of us, just like he cared for the Israelites in the desert. What? <sighs> I told you it was a great story. I have got your excellent taste. Excellent! That's all I got. I'll see you next time. Throughout their hard journey from the moment they left Egypt to when they crossed the Red Sea on dry ground to when they were wandering in the wilderness, God deeply cared for his people. When they complained they were thirsty, God gave them water. When they complained they were hungry, God gave them manna. And when they complained they wanted meat, God gave them many quail birds to eat. Even when the Israelites did not trust God, God was still faithful and he showed them great care. God cares for us. God is in every detail of our day. 
However, if we don't pay attention, it could be very easy not to notice how much God cares for us. God always hears us and never ignores us. God provides exactly what we need when we need it. In God's big story today, we saw God provide and care for the Israelites throughout their journey out of Egypt and into the wilderness. God had every detail prepared and planned. Wow, God is present in every detail of your day. Let's take a moment to pray silently over our work and thank God for all the ways He cares for us while the song plays. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God. is found is where you are and where you are Lord I am free holiness is Christ in me traveled alongside the Israelites and cared for them throughout their journey. All right, guys, it's time for the blessing. So if you guys want to hold out your hands while you receive the blessing, may the details and fullness of God's love and care never escape your notice. May you always seek God's care for you, your every need. Thank you, God, for the abundance of your love and care.